Hi, I'm Larry the Gadget Guru. Today we're going to set up a router for this man's computer and his television that has some Wi-Fi capability on it and give him some capabilities for having his guests come over and use their laptops and that kind of whatnot. I'm going to talk about a TrendNet 450 megabit per second concurrent dual band wireless N router today. This is brand new. It's been purchased for a computer system that you'll be able to see over here. This particular computer has a cable modem hooked up to it now. However, this gentleman has a brand new TV set out in the living room that would be really nice if he could get the Wi-Fi attached to it. So he's looking for something that has high speed. You'll notice this particular router has 450 megabytes per second on it. That's about as fast as you can get. So what we'll do now is I'll talk a little bit about what came in the box. This LAN cord came with it. Uh, this is okay, but I needed a little bit longer one, so I've got a another one that we got from a store down the road. comes with instructions. It does come up with a user's guide in a, in a, in a CD-ROM if you do need to use it. This is the actual router itself. As you see, it's sitting flat right now. So I'm going to configure this thing so that it stands on this little stand that they provided. It just clips on like that. So now it stands. It also has a wall wart, which is basically the power supply. This is a 12 volt power supply. The first thing I'm going to do is I need to put this LAN wire in the place that it's going to go. And then I'll go ahead and disconnect the current configuration and reconnect it to this. Okay. I'm letting the Ethernet cable down here, getting it out of the way. Okay, that particular Ethernet cable is going to go to the computer, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where that goes on the back of this machine. Okay, you see there's four slots here and one blue slot here. The blue slot is where the internet comes in from, in this case, a cable modem. Some other people get it off a of DSL. There's different ways you can get it. So I'll plug the Ethernet cable from the cable modem into here, and then I'll plug the computer into this first slot. Now this particular room doesn't have any other Ethernet devices, so it'll just be the one slot. You'll notice this other little place right down here, where my finger is, it says power in. I guess that must be where you hook up the power, huh? Plug that in like that. Okay, this is the cable modem that's used right now for him to get his internet. Okay, this is going to his computer. So I'm going to go back in the back of the machine and unplug that cable and put this new one that I just ran in its place. So I'm taking the cable modem off the computer. We'll pull it out here. So this is the Ethernet cable that was plugged in from the modem. Taking it out. Replacing it with the new blue Ethernet cable that I got. And that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect another Ethernet cable to the off. back of the router. I've got an Ethernet cable run from the router to the cable modem. Notice that the modem's already set up. Put it back where it was. And there's the other end of that Ethernet cable. Remember that's the one I told you that comes from the, uh, from the cable modem. So it goes into the blue slot. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wall ward or power supply. This is actually a 12 volt DC power supply. And I'm going to go ahead and run it up and hook it up to the back of this modem. Okay, so now I've got this power wire run up. And there you go. That's all the connections there are for this thing. Okay, go ahead and take a look at the lights on the front of the router now. You see there's quite a bit of stuff going on here. It's been on for a couple of minutes, so it's had time to boot up. You have a green LAN port. This particular one's on port one, so that's why number one slot is lit up. And there's three other ones that are still sitting there with nothing lit up. You got your 2.4 gigahertz green light and wireless 5 gigahertz blue light running. Okay, so now that we've plugged in the router, we plugged in the computer, plugged in power, everything's working. I have internet on this machine. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually configure the router, and there's several things that need to be done to, 
first of all, to put the right software in a machine. Secondly, is to secure the system. So we want a secure system with passwords and whatnot on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and type this web address forward slash one nine two dot one six eight dot one zero dot one. So what we're doing now is we're logging into the site. Uh, you can see that it's it's popped up a, a GUI here. So the default user is admin and the default password is admin. Do not click remember this. We're into the system now. Okay, so now we've got to their site. We want to click the wizard button. And we want to hit the launch internet connection setup wizard. Clicking next. Okay, we're choosing the DHCP connection dynamic IP address for this particular setup because this is a cable modem. Okay, we're hit next. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and clone your PC's MAC address. That basically puts in the same address that it was using before when it's hooked up to the modem. We're going to give it a host name. We're going to go on now to the next screen. Now that we've got the thing, it says the internet connection setup wizard is completed. I now need to hit the apply button. So the GUI comes up and says apply changes. I will say yes. And here we go. It's downloading the software for this particular modem. It's doing all the configurations on it. The new settings have been completed. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and hook up things like the passwords and that sort of whatnot. Okay, so after I've hit apply, it's gone ahead and kind of put up a screen, another GUI that shows all the settings that I've put in there. And I'm going to go ahead down on the bottom. It says apply. Continue. Okay, before we went in there in Wizard and we set up the internet connection, which is in this bar here, we've completed that task now. We're going to do the wireless security setup wizard. Okay, this basically gives us the opportunity to name the network and put in a password so that it's secure. So I'm going to go to next. Wireless network name. You see it's got a default name in there. I'm going to wipe that out. And I'm going to put a different name in it. Okay, so I put the name that I'm going to use in there for the network name. And I'm clicking the next button. So now it basically gives me the opportunity to secure your wireless network. There's several different options in here. The way that we're going to use this particular wireless is on a brand new television set. And on this computer, which is also fairly modern. Both of them support the WPA2 option, which is the best. So we're going to click best on the top one and for the 5 gigahertz we're going to also select best. Okay so I've selected the best security in this case that I can and I'm going on to hit next. Now I basically need to put in a password so I'm going to fill in both of these two slots with a password and then I'll hit next after that. Alright the password has now been entered so I now have a GUI up that basically says that the setup is complete. It provides you with instructions of writing down the wireless network name and you should write down the security password somewhere and put it away and what type of encryption you have. So having done all that, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and hit apply. Save the changes. Okay, so after hitting apply, I get the GUI that asks for the password again. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. That's back to the admin thing. And you'll now it's configuring everything and we should be pretty much done. All right, success is complete. So now we're going to reboot the computer and everything will be done. Or reboot the router, I should say. All right. All right, the reboot is complete. The status is up. The machine is ready to go. Okay, just to recap on everything we've done today. We got the router out. We connected the router up by connecting the cable modem to the input of the router and the first connection LAN 1 output of the router to the computer. We set it up, put in the power, allowed the thing to come up. The computer started working with its internet connection intact. From there we went and configured the router. By configuring the router basically I mean that we put in the security system for it 
and we put in passwords and name the thing so that the neighbors can't use it or anybody else can without permission from the owner. So having done that, we rebooted the router as you saw on the earlier screen. It's now complete. The status is showing and we're ready to use this machine.